So if you're like me and you wanted to get into this hobby without the sizable budget that a lot of people have, then I can help. This video is an inexpensive way to improve the quality of your photos while learning and growing to the level that you want to be in this hobby. Today I'm going to show you how I modified my Orion Astroview 6 telescope for astrophotography. It's a visual telescope that went from viewing the moon and planets to using my cell phone to take pictures to becoming frustrated because I couldn't put a DSLR camera on it. I'm going to show you what I did to be able to get there. In 2017, I purchased the Orion Astroview 6 telescope and mount. It was a serious upgrade for me from the uh, 70 millimeter uh, Bushnell telescope that I had in my teenage years. And I really enjoyed looking at the planets and the moon uh, with this Astroview telescope. But then the desire hit me that I need to start photographing these things. So uh, that's the direction I started to move. So I enlisted the help of my Google Pixel. I took a lot of photos with this and it was great for a while, but then my desires changed. I wanted to go deep sky. I needed to get pictures of the Orion Nebula or even Andromeda. So I quickly realized that I couldn't do deep sky astrophotography or long exposure astrophotography with my cell phone. So I then decided I'm gonna put a DSLR camera on there. And I thought it was really simple. I'll just 3D print one of these, a T-ring adapter for my Canon camera. I'll put them together, put it on my telescope, and I'll start taking pictures. And then I immediately found out that I could not get focus. And that's when I had to learn what prime focus is. Prime focus is the point at which the light from the mirrors focus together, and that's where the camera is able to see it with its sensor. And if those two don't line up, you're just gonna get a blurry image. And the information that I learned, there's two ways really to achieve prime focus with a reflecting telescope. Both of them are destructive to the telescope. You either buy a, a low profile uh, focuser, drill new holes and attach that to your telescope, or you cut the end off the telescope and you move the mirror closer to the secondary mirror. I didn't wanna do either one of those. So this is where my problem was presented. And this is where 3D printing came in and saved the day. In order to achieve prime focus with my DSLR camera, I needed to move the primary mirror that's in the back closer to the secondary mirror that's in the front. In order to do so, I went on to Tinkercad and I designed a new holder that would replace the holders that are already in the telescope and be able to move the mirror closer by about 25, 30 millimeters to the secondary mirror. And in doing so, I was able to achieve prime focus. With a lint-free cloth, you can wipe the surface of the mirror. Just make sure you don't use any pressure because you can move the particles and create scratches with that pressure. So as we take it off, be careful not to put fingerprints on. Put it on the first two hold downs. Then we will install the mirror. And once we've installed the mirror, we'll put the third hold down in place, tighten it up, and we're done. So here it is, complete with camera installed after collimating it, making sure everything's lined up properly and trying to show you what it looks like on the inside here with the mirror pushed all the way in. This gives me some opportunity in the future to maybe put a fan back here. This video, by the way, I actually had to put the original pieces back in because I've been doing this now for about a year. And, and that's a great advantage. So if you're ready to upgrade and start spending more money on this hobby, then you can put your telescope back into its original condition and you can sell it. You can sell it for good value. So I like this option. I like the flexibility. So I wanted to show you all that. <clears throat> and there it is. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you a few pictures I've taken with this setup. Drop me a line in the comments. If you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, I can certainly answer them there and maybe even create a future video on those. If you're working on a similar project or something different that I may not have seen, I'm more than happy to, to help you with that as well. Drop me a line and I'll help you out. So again, don't forget to like, subscribe if you like what I've, I've done so far. And remember, the sky is only the limit when your mind is unwilling to fly.